Hey guys, I'm pretty excited to show you what I got going on today. And uh, since I haven't been doing a lot of YouTube videos, I have been uh, working on trying to do some different things. And I started doing some leather work, as you guys can see. This was the first attempt, and what it was an attempt for was for this. Uh, I went and bought a, the Stanley stainless steel canteen because what I wanted basically was just a you know go out day hike type situation I wanted a canteen set up so when I made this one the problem is is that this section was way too wide and what I wanted was something to be able to use this pouch on. Now this pouch was sent to me by Dawn over at Southpaw Bushcraft. She makes these and sells them and um, she sent me one of them and I'm very privileged and very thankful to have one and I wanted to be able to utilize this. In the beginning I was going to use it as a fire kit but uh, right now that I just now got finished with this setup, honestly what's in it now and the only thing it holds is my lid for my GI cup. Now the Stanley Canteen is not a direct fit for the GI cup. Now it will work in there and it works pretty good, honestly. Uh, it takes a little bit of maneuvering, but you do, but you can get it in there. Uh, as you can see, it's got the, the little small lid up here. Kind of hard to do holding it this high up. But it's got that, and then of course it's got the big one that you can take a loose as well. Um, but, you know, you can take these off. I fixed it where this is actually, you can actually take both of these guys off at one time. But, let me see if I can get us out of here. As you can see, that's the canteen nest in the cup. And, let me see if I can get it out of here. There you go. So, I mean, it works pretty good. It takes a little bit of maneuvering to get the cup down in there, and it's not exactly shaped just like the cup, but, you know, it works good. It's all stainless steel, your cup and your canteen. And it also came with these. And what I did was I just hand braided a paracord shoulder strap, and I attached this little cold knife to it. And the reason for that is, is because if I want to go out here on a day hike and I don't want to take like a, a huge bag, you know, I'd rather take just my haversack maybe and a canteen pouch. And that was the reasoning behind building this guy. Um, as you can see, it's got the, I made it where the snaps come off the front and the back. And um, that way I can put whatever I want to put in this guy. I can put a first aid kit you know whatever I want to put in here and not have to really worry about a knife because I have one. so that was kind of the thought process uh, behind that and like I said this is the second one I've made and I like this one a lot better than the first one um, kind of proud of it honestly I mean it's the really one of the biggest things I've made out of leather since I started trying to do it but um, I'll show you guys the knife real quick. It's just a little small Colt leather sheath. There you guys go. You can see the Colt logo right here. Um, I bought this knife with, with the specific thoughts of putting it on maybe like a shoulder strap or something like that. And it works good because Dawn put one of these guys on it. The bone toggler or the antler toggler excuse me but you guys go check out Dawn over at Southpaw Bushcraft uh, she does a lot of work with she makes pouches she makes leather haversacks um, she can make any type of pouch you want any size you want she also has it now to where she actually uses the little straps on the back so you can use it with the molly webbing uh, which is why I was able to do what I did with mine uh, so you guys go check her out. I appreciate you guys stopping by checking out uh, the new canteen setup. Uh, 
tell me what you guys think about it. Like I said, it's my, honestly, it's probably my second time of really working with leather. I uh, fumbled around with a couple of, you know, little small uh, knife sheaths, but nothing to this caliber of doing that. So, you guys let me know what you think. Uh, again, I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the channel, and I'm trying to get you guys some videos out there. Uh, this new job, this new job is really, it's putting me through my paces. So, um, but again, thank you guys. I appreciate you so much for hanging in there with me during the whole off time and everything. But summer's coming, and we do have our park passport now, so we can get in any state park in South Carolina. Got some nice weather coming up. Just went and bought a nice size tent and everything. So we're going to be doing some videos from the state park and stuff as well. And I'm hoping to do that pretty soon. Regardless of whether I'm working or not, I can still do that and leave from there to go to work and come back. So that's the plan. Um, that's the plan I'm hoping. So guys, thank you for checking me out. I appreciate it. And check back for some more videos over on the Lifestyles of Southern Highlifer. Be good to one another, guys.